welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another installment on the lifecraft server and yeah i've kind of given up on the whole episode thing but hey look at this we have quite a few villagers sitting here and we need to put them to use i mean they're just chilling here so what i'm going to do is my th idea is to use this terrain in a way and pretty much build out a little area to figure out if we want to select them or get rid of them. Kind of a uh, selection machine. I don't know what you would want to call it. There's been several names for it, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to have to clear out a lot of this terrain. And yeah, this is going to be interesting because I have an idea for a build, but I still have to make sure I don't have any spawnable platforms for them. And try to make it cool. One thing I'm not going to explain real quick is if I grab my shovel. And you'll notice I have a name tag in here. Name Bob. Well, I saw a zombie villager a second ago, but he dissipated, so. Oh. Oh no, that was probably a bad idea. That was a very bad idea. Very, very bad. But hey, we can work with this. We got it. Just nudge you a little bit more. A little bit more. Alright, so let's not do that again. But yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is clear out a lot of this area. Wow, sand. And yeah, we'll come back in just a few minutes when I got everything situated. And probably this chicken moved. So I'm surprised it's still here. All right, everybody, I just want to say whoever sent me this, it's going to come in quite handy, especially making the trapdoors. I've already made quite a few with that. And also, there was another gift that was mailed in my mailbox, and that was this right here. Merry Christmas. I know it took me a little bit to get to them, but thank you very much. Those are going to be coming very handy as well. And I have two creepers just hanging out right there. But, uh, yeah, I have quite a few things planned. Um, I did a lot of this. On the stream, oh, there's three creepers. And we got most of this set up. Got the idea set out and everything else. And that guy's gone. I right, thank you, XP. And also, when I was over in the other biome to get the uh, villagers, I actually also came across these trees. Oh, hi, Mr. Mr. Dude. Just kind of scare me right there. There's one. And there's two. So, I went ahead and planted down quite a few of these. And I'm going to sit here and harvest these up a little bit. Kind of get things going in the right direction. Because I think it looks great with the... Uh, what these called? A cha-cha. Uh, wood. On the sides. I think that actually is a great detail on that. I may also end up expanding this outward a little bit. And you know what else is kind of funny? 
My villager population keeps growing over here. I don't know how. I don't know where they're coming from. But they are just taking over my island. I am surprised I do not have any... Like, oh, iron golems yet. That's going to get interesting. But, yeah, I would like to know where they're coming from and how to prevent them. Matter of fact, I got an idea. I'm going to put this right here. I think they might be sneaking out there. It's just a theory, but that could be the possibility. We'll see if that stops the population. If not, I might have to think of something else. I think they might also be glitching through the glass. But I think what is in order right now is A, to eat. Of course, you have to keep that food up. And B, to finish off this build. And you can see it actually has a pretty neat design. I got a little bored when I came up. Well, not bored, but uh, creative, I guess, when I came up with this one. And we're going to see how well this goes. And like I said, I might expand this out further. I probably will have to. I don't want it to be bigger than the this side. And this should be an interesting farm. Um, I will have to test it a few times to see how much it produces per hour. But let's go ahead and jump into... I'm going to try and use replay mod and we'll see how well it goes. I know what the heck was that. Alright, so be back in just a second. Well everybody, that did not work as I planned. Um, apparently I closed out of it proper improperly. All right, everybody. Uh, apparently, that did not work as I planned. I, I guess I closed it improperly. But I did make this. Uh, you notice there's four little holes up in the top. And that's for where villagers are going to go down. And I got a lot of acacia wood over here now. So that's good. And yeah, I think this actually looks kind of cool. Uh, I can't wait to build it up higher. Because this is going to be a tileable design. And yeah, that should be pretty good. I'm just going to have a villager down here in the middle. Right there. And have villagers in here trying to throw things to it. And they're going to fall down and go into my little storage system. Speaking of storage system. Can't wait to get that up and going. And I'm kind of curious on how much carrots I have gotten over here. I've had him over, had this over here for a while, and eh, not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. Um, I did notice most of my villagers that escaped are now probably gone. That's kind of sad because I was going to use them, but oh well. Now I have to the fun job of getting these guys from in here, all of them, and in there. So probably the easiest thing to do would be a. Minecart in there, have them come up, and pretty much go over there. That should be fairly simple. So I guess I can go ahead and rig up something really quick. Basically, I'm just going to come over here and go up from here. So this is going to be kind of uh, boring. So I will be back in just a few minutes. Maybe a few more. I don't know what that was up with that. I just apparently decided to jump off my blocks. Really need to patch that. Anyways, be back in a moment. You know, the one thing I was forgetting to make was actually the composter. And now you know how to make it. Okay, logs and fences. Easy enough. Easy enough. Kind of need to put away some of this stuff I just happen to have on me. I keep getting a lot of mob drops because I still haven't... Oh, wait, that took a moment to log in. Okay, whatever. But I still have not gotten around to... Basically, mob-proofing my area. I mean, who needs it mob-proofed? Well, there should be plenty of sticks. Now, composter... It was here. Oh, no, I need to make fences first. And 
There we go. That's 10 of those. And now what I'm going to do with these, quite simply, just fly out over here and land in here. And what I'm going to do, since these are have waterlogged uh, trap doors in there, I'm just going to place that on top and a sea lantern. I should give it plenty of light in there so I don't have to worry. Let me go ahead and do this to all of them. Ow. And I'll be right back. All right, everybody. It looks like I have a little bit of visitors. Hi. How are you doing? Let's defeat him with lava. Mainly this guy. Go. Now, this is a lava challenge. And the last one. Bad thing is, I'm probably going to need them in a little bit for another project of mine. Now, let's see if I can actually get this set up correctly. Now, I messed up whenever I was making this. It should be... I'm trying to remember exactly how it goes. I remember it goes down and then you have to put a block put one up here but then you have to put one of them going downward so it keeps the way the track is moving now I think it was something like this And something like that. So now that if I have a cart right here, we're going to test this real quick. I have a few arrows in me. No big deal. We'll live. Put you here. This here. And like so. Yeah, it still does not look right to me. And oh my gosh, I just realized that cart probably went all the way over there. It's similar to what I wanted to do. I think I did this out of order. So I think I want it to go down, then up. So place it like this. No, one more back. Like that. And place a rail like this. I think that should glitch through a block. If I remember correctly. I have one more minecart to test this with, and then I'm going to have to go pick them up. Like so. Alright, everybody. I think I have this set up right. Let's give it a test. i got a dispenser down here with minecarts in it. Go. There we go. Now what this should do is bring him almost to the edge, and there we go. Took a little bit of damage, nothing too big. Got my hoe on me. He was already choosing, or chose a profession. That's always great. Now, hop in here. Hi, how are you? All right, F3, B. Good. And, hey, there you go. You are already in. And now the last thing to do is pretty much hoe this thing up. 
So this is going to be kind of boring and tedious, but... Eh, that should be fine. And my goal, actually, one of my side goals is to break this uh, diamond hoe. And he's already planting things. Huh. Well, I planned on doing a few carrot farms, so I guess this works perfectly fine. No big deal. But th let me just get this all situated and let him do his thing. Alright everybody, it looks like it's meeting time for these guys. And basically the whole concept of it... <coughs> Alright everybody, it looks like it's meeting time for these guys. And the whole concept of them is, is they cannot throw above these fence posts right here. So they're going to try and throw at this villager right underneath me that has a bell right here as well. But since they can't throw at it, throw at him... Their items are just going to sit there and end up on the floor. Now, this is a pretty decent design. Like I said, it's tileable. You can pretty much build as high as you want up to build limit. The only catch-22 is I probably should have brought these in one block closer so they didn't have to stand on that piece of uh, concrete down there. But other than that, it is a functioning design. And we can see it's working. Now takes a while for them all to get there but they throw quite a bit of food at him and you can see it's starting to pile up down there if you can hit the right buttons in fact let's go ahead and just hop down here real quick and oh my inventory's full yeah I've been taking care of a few things but you can see there's no way for them to get to him and there's no way for them to go to the other farms it's a little bit different design. I hope this actually works properly, but it looks like it probably should. There we go. Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. It's also taking a little bit of time because the farms, I didn't have quite enough for, to do all of them. So some of them are trying to uh, build up. And let's see, potatoes, carrots, carrots, more carrots. Now all I have to do is build a collection system, and yeah, it should work perfectly fine. Uh, the, also, the reason this building down here is here is so I can actually uh, put some villagers down here to trade with. Now, I'm going to have to go get a couple more, and I'll probably do this in between episodes. Hopefully you guys like that little fight scene and building scene I put in there. That was my second attempt with the replay mod. It was a little different. Uh, a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. But it seemed to turn out fine. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, this is kind of a weird video. I'm kind of short on time this week. It's been an interesting week to say the least. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this content, any comments, concerns, or anything else, put down in the comment section down below. And until next time, don't forget to check out all the other awesome YouTubers on this server. This is the Craft 86 and take it easy, everybody. Later.